Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, 6 o'clock location. Sorry, bottom left-hand corner, we have Gosifer starting as... Back to the peach color, maybe that's the color of victory for him. Bonbon bon at the 3 o'clock location as the hot pink Protoss. This is game 5 between these two, so whoever wins this advances to the round of 4. Could be an intense one, it's been nothing but... Honestly, kind of more aggressive builds throughout the openers here. But either player could win this. This is on Monopoly, which leads me to believe potentially with the extra minerals interior to base that we're going to see more of a macro game finally between these two guys. Bonbon bon has shown a bit of more of a, a macro edge. In a lot of these engagements, partly because of build order choice. Oftentimes when you get those ults in your opponent's space, just because of the way the build order pl plays out, you end up ahead in probes in the mid-game. Quark has an entire video series on this, which is fantastic if you can get a hold of that. Looks like we are seeing the very early probe scout once again from Gosifer. He is opting to plop a gateway. He is also going to end up in his opponent's space first. I'm actually curious what his... Is it because he's going up against Bonbon bon in particular and he knows Bonbon bon is a player that can pull off more creative things? I'm, I'm curious the logic behind the much earlier scouts from him. Looks like we're seeing a gateway and an assimilator grab from Bonbon. Bon. He does have a ramp to work with. Although it's kind of one of the... It's almost showboating on map makers these days. We've got the vertical ramp. Probe poking out there. Looks like we are seeing an assimilator grab opposite side. So yes, both players opting for a Dragoon play early. Seven and X score. Morphing in. And seven X score in the opposite end as well. So slight economic lead as you can see for Bonbon bon because of that earlier probe scout once again. But otherwise, things stabilizing between these two players. Later probe scout moving out for Bonbon. Bon. One disadvantage for Bonbon bon is the way this lines up, I believe that Gosefer might be able to swat that probe scout before it is able to make it into his base. And this particular pylon has that nice aura, that blue aura around it for some reason. I don't know if I'm just noticing it this time or if it's just this particular pylon. I feel like it's just this particular pylon. This wants to look particularly luminescent. Maybe that's a sign that it will be critical. At the very least, it's critical here because it's signaling that there isn't cheese out in the field as of yet. First Dragoon being produced. It looks like that probe... So I'm off on the timing here. It looks like that probe should be able to sidle in a little bit before that Dragoon production. And that's going to be big because the Citadel of Adun being built in Gosifer's base. Oh man, actually the timing of this... Go... Oh! Bonbon bon holding up short! And the Dragoon is going to be able to plug the gap now. I think that probe might have been able to sneak in and get the scouting information. Goes for pulling back. And I'm wondering if Bonbon bon wants to try to pull the foregate now with proxy upon holding shorts. Because he knows his opponent, or maybe this is just he's not used to Monopoly. I'm looking for proxy tech potentially out of that probe. But as things stand, he could end up in trouble because now Citadel of Dune is there. Templar Archives is coming online and he does not have vision on anything. But, opposite edge, Bonbon bon going for the Templar Archives as well. So it is going to be DT versus DT. In game fives, second gateway plopping down. That's going to be twice the Dark Templar potentially for Gosifer, which could give him the lead. So now, who's going to have the better ability to block their ramp? Probe Scout getting blocked behind that mineral line and wiped out. Forge is coming online for Gosifer. So having that Forge and the option of cannons actually there for both players. First Dark Templar produced. Cannon might plop down at the natural for Bonbon. Bon. So there's the cannon warping in. First Dark Templar, it looks like it's going to come out a little bit earlier, but more Dark Templar are going to be here. So it's going to come down to ramp blockage for Bonbon. Bon. Can he stop the Dark Templar 
from sidling through. And actually, with the detection, yeah, these cannons are in plenty of time. Is the cannon going to be in time for Gosifer? He's waiting for Nexus first. Ugh! This is not the way you want to see a Game 5 end, and he does not see the Shimmer with his Dark Templar. So this Dark Templar going to be engaged. Live by the sword, die by the sword. They're going to go ahead and back out, but no cannon online. And Gosifer has to be shaking his fists at this stage. Needs to get a cannon in his base. At the very least, he can blockade with his Dark Templar. Maybe needs to make sure, yeah. So at least he can blockade here. But potentially he's going to end up losing that Nexus. Looks like he's going to get the Robotics Facilities. He's just going to let that morph in and cancel. This is giving a huge advantage to Bonbon bon in the mid-game now. Bonbon bon actually moving out with several troops. Needs to be careful doing so. There are four Dark Templar. And I'm wondering if we're going to see a shuttle follow-up now. Because that is Gosefer's one ticket to stick in this match, is to get a shuttle inside that base, over the cannons, to hold it. Bonbon bon applying pressure, exposing his Dragoons to Dark Templar. Wants to make sure that Nexus doesn't complete. Cancellation on the Nexus. Bonbon's confirmed it. He's going to back up. His Nexus is there. High Templar now out on the front. And this Dark Templar also going to be able to take that pylon. There is a cannon at the main. But it's only one cannon. Two additional gateways and an observatory. Are we seeing a shuttle, though? No shuttle, it looks like. So big lead mid-game for Bonbon. Bon. Taking out a Nexus. Taking out a pylon. He's got granted three cannons on his front, but that's nice late in defense. To go ahead and counter, and it looks like Bonbon bon in a solid position to advance to the next stage. Still no shuttle. That would have been the one thing that Gosefer might have been able to counter with. Bonbon, bon, single Dark Templar, forcing these Dark Templar to hold the ramp, but boxing out that natural expansion. And in the meantime, Bonbon bon with a 10 probe lead. Cannons everywhere, just in case. Oh, that's rough. So Gosefer, even in supply for the moment, at least has Observer out in the field. But also keep in mind this is Monopoly, which means there's additional resources to work with. So Dark Templar going to get taken up by Dark Templar seems apropos. But this is Gosefer just now taking his expansion... Never mind, he's going to ignore that. He's just going to work with the four gateways and try to win it that way. He's going to have trouble, though, because Dark Templar, three cannons, or a slew of Templar waiting. I assume Sidestorm's already been upgraded. Two additional gateways plopping down for Bonbon, bon, so there's going to be a very thin window to try to make this happen. The High Templar moving forward in position. Bonbon bon realizes at this stage all he has to... Oh, he supply blocked himself, unfortunately. All he has to do is hold, though. Probe wandering out just to confirm. Like, are you still out there? Yes. That is the case. Gosefer, with zealot leg speed, wants to try to punch through front lines. If he can preserve the Dark Templar from there, maybe. Wipe out all the cannons, but they're... Psystorm does not care about detection. First Psystorm dropped. Second Psystorm blanketing absolutely everything, softening up the troops. The Dark Templar does sneak through the lines. But there are plenty of cannons there to go ahead and greet it. And Gosefer's attack force and observer wiped out, leaving a single Dark Templar to work on pylons at that right edge. As the first observer is coming online, this is going to be five gateways. An Archon is here as well. And not even... Okay, gets one pylon for all of that effort. Now, Gosefer, yeah, gonna call GG right there. Bonbon bon with the hold. A complete swing around sweep to advance to the round of four. Well played. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.